Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the 18th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Alternatively, you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay. Let's uh, look at the numbers for today. Asian markets overnight certainly have shaken off the uh, weakness from uh, the Brexit concerns yesterday post Theresa May's speech. Okay, given the fact that sterling certainly spiked. Sterling is actually back down today and we'll certainly discuss that shortly. Now, Asian markets, Nikkei up 0.4, the Shanghai up 0.14%, so more or less flat for the Chinese market, although the Hang Seng was up by uh, an impressive 1.1%. Okay, now in terms of economic data or news flow overnight, other than the uh, the actual Australian confidence numbers, not really many very market moving. Okay, uh, German inflation data came in basically bang on in line. Uh, UK data came in stronger, uh, stronger jobs data and uh, obviously uh, earning average earnings as well, including bonuses etc. Certainly coming in on the stronger side, indicating inflation. We already had stronger inflation numbers yesterday. Now we've got stronger jobs data with obviously uh, average weekly earnings. Average earnings certainly increasing as well, thereby uh, enhancing the inflationary pressures. And therefore, uh, Mr. Carney and the BOE certainly are in a corner in terms of additional uh, potential stimulus or, arg or arguing towards a dovey stance. It, they are forced into a hawkish stance. Adding the fact that uh, Miss May obviously has uh, basically opened the door for a potential vote. For Brexit and has stated that it will be in phases. It certainly does uh, relieve any, uh, well, basically any fear uh, and uncertainty from a sterling's perspective, only not the index's perspective, just from a sterling's perspective, and that certainly is triggering the short squeeze at present. And again, you can uh, interpret multiple ways. I mean, my interpretation is the only reason why sterling actually rose yesterday was because it's an unwind of the uh, the risk trade. So you had the sterling, obviously, uh, short sterling, long FTSE trade that was in play. And when you have risk aversion, such as uh, Brexit uncertainty, then it, that, that trade certainly unwinds. When you have an unwind, then it sends the sterling higher and the FTSE lower. And that's exactly what occurred yesterday. So that's my interpretation. And like I said, fundamental analysts can spin it as much as they want. In terms of... Um, uh, U.S. data, we're looking forward to CPI data, Red Book, and uh, obviously we have Miss Yellen speaking as well later on. We've got the Fed Beta Book, and we have API crude data. Again, I'll always volatile with regards to uh, commodities. Okay, now let's look at the actual technical picture at present. Let's bring up the uh, chart of the German DAX first. German DAX holding that key resistance zone at 11,580. Certainly not breaking above that, and therefore looking for risk off at this juncture. 60-minute chart does have a bull flag. Given the fact that we failed to play the bull flag out all morning, it looks very unlikely that it'll con and continue for, for it to be played out today. Especially given the fact that uh, we have a stronger uh, uh, data from the UK indicating inflation down the road, and therefore you are looking at potential hawkish stance from the BOE, and therefore it's, it's certainly considered negative. Excuse me. Okay, now in terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. A French CAC on the daily chart, first and foremost, flushing, although hasn't held, hasn't bounced off that support of 4820 as of yet. A 60 minute chart at the moment certainly is holding support in this region at present at 4820. Uh, again, it's a series of lower lows and lower highs, just bear that in mind. And you can certainly see that the, uh, the actual uh, bears are in control here. Looking at the 10 minute chart at the moment, it's still lower lows, lower highs, although we have bounced of that potential low there. Okay, it'll be interesting to see how the market responds thereafter. In terms of the FTSE 100, looking at a 10 minute chart, we've certainly built a base around this 7 to 20 now. So again, that's certainly that 7 to 20 level certainly needs to be respected. We do have resistance above at 7 to 45 and 7 to 40. Okay, so that certainly will act as resistance. The 60 minute chart certainly paints an alternative picture. It basically indicates a potential uh, bear flag scenario down to 7205 and that's what we'll be looking for. That's what I'll certainly be looking for in terms of the FTSE 100, okay folks? Right, I think that's a good wrap up uh, in terms of the uh, the actual market itself. Again, keep watching the Euro. Uh, currently we're sitting at the 10660 zone, okay? So keep watching the Euro uh, and also look at European equities too. US markets will be under pressure from the start given the fact that target certainly has been downgraded. Okay, and again, potential profit warning there as well. We have had Pearson in the UK uh, down almost 23% today, therefore indicating a, a bearish bias or a negative 
uh, income stream going forward so again that's certainly a way we have oil prices as well touching the 51 dollar level 51.6 at the moment certainly in free fall and that certainly doesn't bode well for the FTSE 100 either as you can see here if i go to a 60 minute chart you'll be able to see a bit more clarity so you are looking at risk aversion there as well so looking for risk off to play out especially given the fact that we've been weak all morning okay and we'll see exactly how the markets unfold on that note be sure to visit cfds.com and take advantage of the bonus goodbye now